new sneak peek of our show, Snippy Symphony of Water. Take it away, Snoop. Six. 
One digit off. Your whole life is zero three eight. That's one three eight. Awesome. Okay, we are going to do some more giveaways later, but the cost of that is you actually have to listen to me for a few minutes. So. All right. Well, as, as Caitlin said, welcome to Pass Preview Night. We're really glad that you're here, and we are really glad that you all are pass holders. And uh, I've run into a bunch of you guys in the park already, and it just I love it when you come up and say hello. And, and chat and get to know each other and talk about the park and what we all love about the park. So uh, if you see me out there, come on, say hi. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about real quick is special events. Did any of you guys come to any of our events last year? Yeah! Well, I've got a couple of my favorites. And uh, so let's go on to the next slide, Maggie. And okay, so these are some of my favorites from last year. And we heard from you, whether it be on social media, walking through the park, that you really like these events. So what we always want to do is listen to you all and bring things back and make them bigger and better every year. So the first one we're going to chat about is Memorial Weekend Salute. So this is great for a number of different reasons. One, fireworks. Who likes fireworks? Kids? So I have been told that the fireworks this year for both Memorial Weekend Salute and Star Spangled Banner, Star Spangled Celebration are going to be bigger and better than ever. So. We want to be the place for fireworks in the Richmond area, so we're going to make these shows even better this year for you, so come on out, and again, let us know how you like them. So, Memorial Weekend Salute, May 25th through the 29th, come on out. If you have a friend who is in the military, they can get in free. So, we want to do what we can to honor our troops, and so we are going to do that both for Memorial Weekend Salute and Star Spangled Celebration. Okay, so make sure you pass the word on that. Kids Fest. Love that event. So if you may if you may recall last year it took place in July and I think it was 152 degrees on those dates, right? You remember those days? So this year, Saturdays and Sundays in June, June 10th through the 18th, Saturdays and Sundays. Now, I we're changing it up a little bit, and in a couple of weeks I'm gonna have a really cool announcement for something that's gonna be really exciting for you guys. I can't tell you tonight though. So I know, I know. So, Come on that, they're going to be very excited. So Kids Fest, Saturdays and Sundays in June. I had mentioned Star Spangled Celebration. So July 4th is like on a Tuesday, right? Kind of, kind of odd. So since it's on a Tuesday, we figured, well, we better do fireworks for more days on that weekend. So we're going to do fireworks June 30th through July 4th. You guys okay with that? Yeah! Cool. So who likes beer and barbecue? Yes. Really excited about this event. So Saturdays and Sundays, again, will still be three weekends down in Candy Apple Grove. Uh, did anybody go into? I loved the beer garden under the arbor. Did you guys go under there? Yeah. Well, it was 10 degrees cooler under there, and we had like 10 or 12 different craft beers under there. So it was really good. So make sure you come out for that. A lot of great entertainment. Uh, again, just a wonderful event, and we will continue to grow that uh, over the years. So next slide, please. Anybody ride the carousel recently? Really excited about this. Go down and take a look tonight at the carousel. Some really done some really great renovation work on it, and we're celebrating our hundredth this year. So we're very excited about that. It's a beautiful ride. You see some of the commemorative photos here from the from the history. We have some great giveaways. Dennis Spiegel is going to be here as a special guest, and he was instrumental in getting the carousel wow. here. So he's going to share some stories about that process and when we got it here, etc. So we're, we're going to have a lot of fun with that on those two days. Uh, the ceremony will be on the 29th. Hey, so Virginia, this is a new one. So we're, we're loving this. So we're going to be on Saturdays and Sundays, May 6th through the 21st. So, you know, we talked a little bit about having that craft beer and the barbecue for the Barbecue and Brew Festival. For this one, we're using the Commonwealth of Virginia as our canvas. And our executive chef and our culinary team are going to craft Virginia-inspired dishes to serve down in the Candy Apple Grove section of the park. Uh, we're going to have multiple locations serving multiple entrees and desserts, etc. And then, 
In addition to everybody loves the craft beer in the Virginia market, we've got some great Virginia wines around Virginia wineries. And we actually have some fantastic Virginia distilleries. So for the first time, we're going to bring in some of Virginia distilleries. And we are going to have a special guest from a TV show about distilleries coming in. And you'll be able to meet that person. And we'll be talking about that a little bit later as well. Live entertainment, etc. It's going to be a fantastic new event. So next one. So City, I love the waterfront. So we really haven't done much. Yeah, okay, you like it too. So we haven't done a lot in Soak City from an event perspective. So when it's blazing hot in July, um, now those dates are Thursdays and Fridays. So when you're having a long week at work, come out on a Thursday night, we're gonna have a beach party Thursday and Friday nights over in Soak City. So we're gonna have tropical drinks, Jimmy Buffett, reggae music, all that kind of stuff. So we're really now, before I get beat up on social media, I did not say that Jimmy Buffett would be here. That is not, I said Jimmy Buffett's style of music, right? Clint, you're recording that, so you have to So it's going to be a fun time, okay? So make sure we uh, put that on our calendars. Pass holders. How many new pass holders tonight? New ones? All right, we have some new people in here, so I want to just touch on very quickly a reminder of some of the benefits. You guys, you old timers have been here forever, you know this already, so go on. Early ride time, so Saturdays and Sundays, we're going to be announcing the summer information. I mean, every, I know everybody loves to have Volcano and, and get out there. One of the things that we are going to look to add on select dates is, I see a lot of kids in here, some ER exclusive ride time on Planet Snoopy rides as well. So that's going to be something new for this year, so we're excited about that. So more to come, you'll see it on the website, we'll include it in the newsletters. If you don't subscribe to our newsletter, you're missing out. Get on our social channels as well. Uh, we're going to have some ride nights as well. Uh, we're going to have an exclusive premiere of a new show that uh, we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Uh, obviously, everybody loves early access to Soak City as well. And then, of course, bring a friend. You know, every day you can save 25 bucks, but then throughout the year we have special discounts like on Mother's Day, Father's Day, and other times throughout the year. So with that, I am going to be quiet for a few minutes. And if you would join me in welcoming uh, the Vice President and General Manager of our park, Jack. Coming. This is a lot of people and I'm very excited. My name's Chad. Uh, this is my first year as the general manager here and uh, so I'm particularly excited. Um, and Caitlin uh, dared me to say awesome sauce. That's what I feel like it's awesome sauce. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some shows. Uh, we have the new Cirque show which is going to be in this theater in the summer if you came last year. Who was a returner? I know he already asked this but I was behind the curve. Uh, okay, so this is a new Slurk show, so this is our second. Uh, it's a great, great show, and you should definitely check it out. Awesome, awesome show. Um, we also have Turn It Up, uh, Jungle Journey, and Peter's Jumping Jag, all new shows. And I think you all saw Snoopy, our favorite beagle, uh, doing the symphony at the start here. We, we're trying to treat you to that since it's going to actually be in the mornings. Uh, up, at the, up at the gate, so anybody that gets up early and wants to come out will see Snoopy doing his symphony of the real fountains every day. And then we have our own jump dog show in the, in the Snoopy uh, Peanuts play show place, losing my mind. Um, and that's going to be all summer, so uh, we, we're adding a lot of shows, a lot of entertainment, a lot of cool things to do. Alright, so what else do we have? We got a lot of technology. We have packed the park with a whole lot of new stuff. Um, we have a. We go to the next. Uh, all right, we have a brand new. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm assuming the Wi-Fi is what everyone's cheering about. Yes. Okay, uh, it should be up and operational right now. Uh, KD guest Wi-Fi. So. Uh, Log on, keep save your data. I have an awesome joke up there that Caitlin wrote for me, so don't blame me. Your data bill will not appreciate it. Yes. Um, we have a brand new website that is now mobile friendly, so if any of you used our website before, it perhaps wasn't optimized for being used on your cell phone. So uh, that's a great new thing. And we have our, our own new app, which is going to be launched very soon, and that will include uh, the rag wait times. So you'll be able to make the most of your day every single day. So very, very cool stuff. Uh, but that's not all. So we, uh, in addition to all of that, 
we go to our next slide, uh, we have the Battle for King's Dominion. Does everyone know what this is? Yeah! Okay. Well, um, I'm going to hand this over to uh, our partner in this, Polybus, who has been working on this for us. It's a game. It's a free game to download on your phone. Everybody can play. You can play in the queue lines. You can play uh, battling each other. You choose which rides are your favorite, and you can change that every time you go. It's awesome. So um, I'm going to bring uh, Brian up from Polybus. He's going all the way here from England. Um, I don't know him, but I am from England too. Um, I only met somebody got So uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the, uh, the new game. Thank you, Brian. Hello. Um, yeah, well, I'm Brian. I'm from uh, All of This in the UK. And we've been working with the park to bring you the Battle of the King's Dominion. So this is going to be a free app um, which will extend the experience of being in the park by converting five of your favourite coasters into characters which will then do battle every day um, for supremacy at the park. So without further ado, my team back in the UK has assembled uh, a making of video to give you guys a sneak peek of what you can expect from this. Okay, thank you. Last year, Paul of released the award-winning The Battle for Cedar Point. It was the first ever extended experience app in a U.S. theme park. Battle for Cedar Point is an extended experience where guests download an app on their phone and are able to go into the park and experience it like they've never experienced it before. Like with Battle for Cedar Point, guests can join an alliance of their favorite coaster and then they use mini-games of augmented reality to battle against other guests uh, to decide whose coaster is the best. We've now enhanced the experience. We've added new characters, lots of new gameplay, and a battlefield that overlays the real King's Dominion theme park. What's amazing in, in being a part of being able to bring this AR experience to life is it, it, it's not been done before. So all of his media designed and produced this extended experience. We brought together a team of artists, programmers, game designers, and animators in order to do this. We started the development by choosing five coasters and working out what kind of characters the coaster fans would find cool. We then designed the characters and the minigame using the King's Dominion coasters and the park as inspiration. One of the most important parts of the Battle of King's Dominion is making sure that we personify the roller coasters in the exact way that guests are engaging with those rides. So for example, Volcano, it's ferocious, it's attacking. Uh, Intimidator 305, one of the biggest coasters on the park. And, it, and it's the same for the character. He's a big, ferocious, metallic character. Flight of Fear, an enclosed dark ride. Making that into a character, it was great to kind of go back into the archives and really look at one of those grey aliens. Dominator, he's a superhero. He's everything a superhero should be. And like every great superhero, he's got his superpower. He can unleash bolts of electricity to defeat even the strongest of enemies. So my favourite character is Avalanche, and this was a great character to develop in house. And families tend to engage with that ride. So we thought, well, let's make a character that, that really sparks the imagination of the younger families. He offers this wise, calm character. So at key locations around the park, we're going to have hidden AR triggers embedded into the infrastructure, into the signage, into the physical assets of some of the attractions and coasters themselves that the guests then will get a search for uh, from the app on their own device and release that element or that surprise that uh, the augmented reality is going to deliver for them. But with the extended experience technology we work with, the next level of capability needs to be around better interaction and more engagement with the guests. So with the Battle for King's Dominion application, we've added a whole new layer of interactivity with mini-games and incentives that the guests are going to be able to unlock and engage with. but I promise you I have uh, pretended to uh, be busy many, many hours so far with the test version. 
and I played a lot, and it's really, really good. So, uh, not only do you get to have the game, play it, uh, download it for free, we want you to be as entertained as possible. We're trying to make the most of every single second that you're here. So, um, we've got, uh, with this game, signs like this, big cool signs with the new characters, that are going to be throughout the queue lines um, of each of these rides. So while you're in there, you can actually use your phone, select the AR games, uh, which is the augmented reality games, and these signs will come to life, much like this. So they'll start uh, coming at you, and firing things at you, and you get to you, you get to shoot back and, and have a, an awesome, entertaining game while you're in line for an awesome, entertaining ride. So uh, we're really trying to make the most of every single minute that you're here. Uh, we, we value your time, and we value that uh, you're spending your time with us. So uh, make sure that when we release that very soon, it's going to be in the next couple of weeks, uh, we will be, uh, make sure you get it, download it, and play and battle. It's great. Um, we will also have products in the park, in the merchandise stores for you to purchase if you want to have t-shirts that come alive and all that kind of stuff too. So there's a whole program that goes with that. Alright, making the most of your season. So it's talked about making the most of your day. Uh, we got some other stuff for you. So it's not, not quite over yet. We have a lot going on. So first up, we have our Fun Picks program. Anybody know what Fun Picks is? Yeah. Does anybody have Fun Picks yet? Woo! Yeah, okay. Fun Picks is so good. You get to download and keep all of your digital images from every ride, every visit, every uh, screen, every uh, gate, photo. Um, make sure that you capture all the memories from all of your children's first times doing anything. Um, you can share them, you can do whatever you want with them, and you can have it all season. They're all yours. Uh, you just have to go online and get more details on that. Our Season Pass drink program. So we've had the All Season Cup before, but as Season Pass holders, we've upgraded uh, the options again to try and give you what we've heard that you want. Um, and you get to make the choice if you buy the All Season pro drink program. You can either have the cup, which is the traditional, you carry it around with the handle, or if you want to not have to carry it around, you can opt to put the pass onto or the drink program onto your pass. And you can then, every time you want to get a refill, you'll get a paper cup, you drink it, and then you get another one next time you go. So you don't have to carry around a cup. The choice is So, um, everybody excited about that? A couple people clapping. Yes. Personally, after you don't have to carry the cup, you have to keep it with you, you can go. So, all depends on what you want. Um, and then we've also added two more refill locations so that there are fewer lines, more places to go, and you can refill all season. And then, of course, Fastlane is back for another year. It continues to be a really, really good, good product. If you've not tried it, please do uh, give it a try and get some rides. So many more rides throughout the day, and you skip all the lines. And then, last but not least, if we go to our last slide, we have the Dining Plan. Who has the Dining Plan? Woo! Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that everybody's very upset that we've added Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, <laughs> and Boardwalk Rides. Woo! To the options that uh, for that are in your dining plan. So two meals a day, or every time you come, if you want to come every single day, then you can eat that many meals. It's a lot. Um, and uh, of course, we're, we're very excited to have them as partners in this. So I think that that's about everything for me for now. Um, I'm going to pass it back over to these guys. They like to give stuff away. Right? Yeah. Okay, fun picks. Who wants fun picks? Fun picks. You guys want that? Yeah. You can be. Please say I get that. I can't see it. I lost my glasses earlier, so. All right, six zero four seven nine nine. Yeah, right up there. All right, come on down. Okay, what's next, Will? Okay, some more fun picks. Oh, you can hang on to that. Two, one. Got one up there. All right. Let's speed this thing up. Okay. All right. So let's get the stand up. Right. So, what do we have next, Whit? Two fast lane pluses. All right. Nobody wants that, I'm sure. Okay, there you go. I don't need that. Six, zero, four, nine, three, one. 